Uh, welcome back, everybody. Very excited to talk to our next guest. Uh, big news over the All-Star Weekend. Miami Heat making a pretty good addition to this squad that is hoping to make a, a second half run. DeLon Wright has been added to your Miami Heat squad. So we decided to go uh, right to the family source. Big brother Darrell Wright joining us here. Former champion, former first-round pick of your Miami Heat. Darrell, thanks so much for the time, man. Really appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me, man. I'm super excited. I bet you are, man. So first, uh, did you did you know before everybody else knew? Did you know this was a possibility? How how did the the whole news go down for you with uh, with your brother signing with the Miami Heat? Yeah, it's pretty funny because uh, you know Delon and I are six years apart. Uh, he was never able to hang out with me when he was younger, uh, but you know as we grow older, we become you know very very close and almost like best friends. So we talk almost every day. He keeps me in a loop with a lot of things. So I kind of knew before the whole family knew that it was a possibility. And uh, it was just it was just pretty cool because we shared the same agent. So he, the agent texts me and everything like, yo, we're about to get it done, uh, the line to Miami. So that was pretty cool to kind of, you know, know a little inside before it happened. Has to feel like a uh, a perfect fit. You obviously know what it's like to play in that organization, but him just so tenacious defensively, that feels like it's a match made in heaven. What, what do you think this is going to be like, uh, DeLon, joining this Heat squad? Uh, just like you mentioned, it's going to be a great fit. Um, he is, you know, a Miami Heat culture player, you know, just the discipline, uh, just understanding the task, uh, being just a, a winner. He does winning things, you know. A lot of things DeLon does on the basketball court doesn't show up in a stat sheet. Uh, deflections, uh, you know, communicating, being in the right places. So he is one of the perfect guards for, you know, Eric Spolcher and the Miami Heat just because what he brings on both ends of the floor, man. So I'm I'm really looking forward to it. And for years I've been telling DeLon, I can see you one day playing in Miami. And I'm just so happy that, you know, it, it manifests and he's going to be there and he's going to help those guys try to get it, get back to that, to the finals. You mentioned like he wasn't around too much. Did he did he have any uh, time around the Heat organization when when he was younger? Like, do you remember him getting to like, I don't know, shoot around on the court or anything like that? Do, do any of those memories come come about? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, lots of memories with when my fam used to come down and check on me because, you know, I was 18, 18, 19 when I got to Miami. So the fam would come down and check on me. And the line used to be running around in the family room running around on the court with, you know, Jay Will kids, Shaq kids. So they have a lot of memories of just being in the in an arena, being in a family room, being on a practice court. So I know it's going to be crazy when he gets there and, and he settles in because, you know, it's just a full circle moment. When you're uh, speaking with him after this news goes down, becomes official, how excited is he just to get back in a in a playoff race? You know, Washington's revamping some stuff i imagine that's got to be re rejuvenating in, in its own right getting a chance to be in a team that's definitely going for some big goals oh yeah you know when you get to this lead especially when you've been in the league for so long you get some playoff experience you come into training camp thinking that you're going to get to the playoffs. so you know it's a little disappointing you know how the season was going for him in washington after last year i feel like you know they, they had an opportunity to get to the playoffs a lot of injuries but this year you know you could tell it's just a rebuild once Bradley Bill uh, was traded away. So he is excited to, you know, finally be back in a situation where he could play for something. And like I said, DeLon is just a winner. He's going to do winning things. So, uh, you know, he's excited and I can't wait to see him out there. Darrell, you were here uh, recently for the Udonis Haslam uh, jersey retirement. Uh, how much did you enjoy that night? Oh, I loved it, man. Just to see the love that the city have for Udonis. We all know the mayor of Dade County, uh, you know, just spent spent his whole life in in Florida, except for one year, man. So just the love that he got from the from the organization, the fans, the family, the friends, man. It was a special moment being there, and I love being back. You know, I didn't know they were gonna have us on the court, and you know, get, and, and showing us some love too. So whenever you get back, and you know, uh, be able to be loved by the people that watch you grow up was was always special. What what was it like for you as a as a guy who's close to UD and close to D Wade and those guys? What was it like seeing that kind of through line for UD? Because so many generations of Heat fans are there because of their tie to him. That must have been an unbelievably cool experience, whether it was on the court or at your dinner beforehand. What was that experience like being with so many Heat players who had that connection with UD? Uh, it was great because we all know what UD uh, means to the to the uh, city of Miami. 
uh, what he brought to the organization and just how he brought his hard hat every single night and competed at a high level, beat the odds. You know, uh, if you ask him, he wasn't supposed to be there. So for him to get 20 years out of his uh, basketball career is amazing. And just, you know, what he represents, man. He, him, Zoe, D-Way, you look in the dictionary at Miami Heat culture, those guys, pitcher is sitting right there. So um, definitely showed us the blueprint of how to be, uh, you know, a hard-nosed working guy and, you know, just compete at a high level. So it was amazing to see the love that everybody came and showed UD. Speaking with Darrell Wright, uh, brother DeLon Wright signing with the Miami Heat for the rest of the season after his buyout. Really, really exciting news to have the Wright family back with the Miami Heat. Darrell, I want to ask you about this. The uh, the Heat have a young player themselves in Nikola Jovich. Not quite as young as you were when you first came to the Miami Heat, but still came here at 19, is now like going through those ups and downs. Sometimes he gets some time, sometimes he doesn't. When you are that young in the NBA, what are the challenges mentally of just wanting to play ball, but maybe the coaching staff saying, ah, you're not ready quite here. You got to polish this up. And and the, I guess the ins outs, the roller coaster of being a young guy who wants to contribute. Yeah, it's part of the game. You know, I've, I've been watching him. I've seen he's had some good games lately, uh, you know, taking advantage of opportunities. But, you know, when you come on a team with a bunch of veterans, especially a team that either went to the finals or deep in the playoffs, it's kind of hard to crack that rotation. Uh, but, you know, just the mental toughness you got to have. And I felt like uh, being around Stan, being around Pat, being around Spo, they helped me understand. Oh, Keith Atkins as well. I can never forget him. They helped me understand, like, man, it's a long race. So just keep your head down, keep working, keep, keep developing. And when you do get those opportunities, whether that's one minute, two minutes, 30 minutes, you got to take full advantage. So if he continue to keep his head down, keep listening to his vets and just trust in the process, man. I know that's so cliche now, but trust the process and understand that, hey, you're going to get developed. And then in three or four years, when those guys has planned 30 minutes a night, you're going to be up there with them and competing with them. So just keep your head down and compete at a high level when you get that opportunity. What's it? What's been like for you seeing Eric Spolstra? You had young Spo. You had the uh, first year's head coach, Eric Spolstra. I know you had him on your staff as well, but um, what's it like seeing Eric Spolstra now as like big contract extension? I remember D-Way said that, that that's even more than a contract extension with what he got, but just this this type of success, this longevity uh, from the time that you had him when, when he was young in, in his coaching career. It's amazing, you know, when you put the work in and it just goes back to what we was talking about, the young fella, you put your head down, you put the work in and you outwork the guys next to you, uh, you always going to find success. And uh, Coach Fo, whether that was player development in the film room, whatever it was, he did it, you know, a hundred. He, he did it at full speed, you know, it was never uh, n nothing half, you know, half speed. So to see Spo uh get rewarded with that contract was amazing because he deserves it he's one of the best coaches in the league uh he's proven that he can win with stars you know with some you know up and coming stars and he's just showing the world that you know he's one of the best coaches out there just because of the discipline and the accountability that he brings to the organization how many uh more heat games do you imagine you're going to find your way down to now uh with delano oh, on the squad I'm yeah, probably going to get down there that first uh, week of March. I know that's the first home game. Come show them some love. Uh, show them the ropes of Miami a little bit, you know. <laughs> show them a few of my favorite restaurants, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'll probably come down there the first week of March just to hang out with them. You mentioned uh, watching Nico a couple times. I guess your impressions of this Heat squad, the, the times you've checked in on them, what what do you make of them? They've, they've seemed like they're starting to find their their way a little bit here after some up and downs. What, what have you made of their season so far? Uh, you know, just like you said, it's just always going to be a bunch of ups and downs. Uh, you make a trade for Rozier. Um, you try, you kind of change your, your lineup and your rotation. So it's going to take time to, to find – your footing again, as long as they continue to stay in the race. I, I, I got Miami going against anybody just because of, uh, you know, how they pre prepare for the playoffs and things like that. And just getting the, getting the players on the right track. But I think they're trending in the right direction. I could see them getting a lot better. Hopefully, uh, Rozier and, and, and Josh are good, you know, cause I was watching the game. They got hurt. So hopefully, uh, you know, it's not too serious and they could bounce back. I don't know the details right now, but I think they're going to be trending in the right direction once they get 100% healthy and guys continue to learn each other. A couple more before we get you out of here, Darrell, and I really appreciate the time today. 
There's some news uh, right before the uh, eh, some fodder. You know everything's on Twitter. It's news these days. But uh, there was a report that if Clay Thompson were to leave the Warriors, that the the Miami might have interest in him. One as a, as a former team, it is. Can you imagine Clay Thompson leaving Golden State? I just can't picture it. It feels like those guys are just meant to end together. But if he did, would you think that a, a Heat fit? Could you see that uh, working out? Yeah, it, it's hard for me to even imagine that Klay Thompson leaves Golden State. You know, I, I know it's been a lot of talk. Uh, I want to see what's going to happen after the break because you know he left with a bang right yeah. before our weekend and might you know found a new role. So it's going to be interesting to see you know how how all that happens. But if it did happen, I think Klay yeah, he fits anywhere when you can shoot the basketball at a high clip like Klay Thompson can. You could pretty much fit anywhere. Uh, he brings that winning mentality. Uh, he brings the experience. So uh, he still has a lot left in the tank. You know, I just think people think he's supposed to be the Clay Thompson of like five or six years ago. But when you were a professional athlete, at some point, you're going to decline a little bit. So uh, the one thing he does have is that jumper. That's never going anywhere. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, how this free agency goes this summer. And uh, your guy, D-Wade, uh, announced he's going to get a statue in the fall. What, what do you think the pose should be? What do you think it should look like? What are we, what are we thinking for the, the, the statue at Kaseya Center? That's a good one. The most iconic thing that D-Wade's ever done is maybe standing up on the uh, table right in front of where Mickey Harrison stands. That the might best. Be the, yeah, that might, that might be the most iconic. So maybe just him doing this, you know, pointing down, saying, this is my arena. This is my city. Whatever he was saying, I think that might be a great pose. Man, that that year, you know, it goes unspoken because, like, you know, it's not a championship year, but the years, like, w- right right before the big three got there, some of those individual performances he had, insane. Like, the, the way he could take over that building. It really was. Yeah, it definitely was. It was insane for sure. Terrell, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. We're excited to have DeLon down here uh, on the Miami Heat and uh, appreciate you giving us some time and some insight into all of it. And hopefully we'll see you around the arena. No problem. Thanks for having me. See you guys soon.